All right, what's poppin? In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to mod the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on the Yuzu emulator. Now, this process is fairly simple and easy. You're basically gonna need two things, the emulator and access to Game Banana, which I'll leave in the description down below to Game Banana. Now, as I'm recording this video, the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom hasn't even been out for almost a week. So what you're seeing right now, if you're watching this video a few months down the line, there could be better mods. But right now, there's like basic mods. But I'm showcasing you guys how to basically set it up, essentially. All right, so I'm going to go to one mod, this easy horse upgrade. And another good thing about this um, section of the mod um, of this website is they tell you the pathway. So if you're using, um, like, say, for example, a custom firmware using Ryu Jinx or Yuzu, they tell you where to um, put it. So right now, since we're using Yuzu, so this is going to be our pathway. But I'm going to show you guys like an easy shortcut for you can basically avoid all of this. The, these, these steps are unnecessary. These steps are longer, but I'm going to show you guys a shortcut version of it. So, what I'm basically going to do is get the mod. All right, I'm trying to minimize this real quick. Drag and drop it. Minimize that. Open up the mod. I'm going to leave it as horse upgrade. And drag and drop that onto my desktop. I uh, really don't need this anymore. And then the shortcut is you left click. Um, and then you go to open mod data location. And you drag and drop this. And then you basically close it. And you see if it works, you're gonna left click, go to properties. As you can see, Course upgrade. It's basically, I think if it says FS, FS, it's considered a mod. And IP switch, that's for something regards as 60 FPS mod. And cheats, obviously, it means cheats. Now, do keep in mind when you go to properties, it should be already checkbox, but if you for some reason see it un unchecked, make sure you make sure it's checked. And then you press OK, and you're basically all set to go. Um, this is pretty simple and easy, like I said earlier. That's how you do it on the Yuzu emulator. If you guys enjoyed the video or have any questions, make sure you guys leave it in the description down below. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you set up mods for Legend of Zelda Tears in the Kingdom on the Yuzu emulator. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.